the floor made up in robot. Who remembers La Petite Chat Blog, that French showed from the 2000s? I do, though I doubt many others do. It was very obscure, and I could tell why as it didn't have a wide appeal. Airing from October to December 2008, the show was very short-lived and consisted of 10 episodes in total. It's no wonder it went under the radar, but I don't know if I'm the only one who saw it. The show is an odd live action show, featuring a young boy who wore a black cap ear headband and had his nose painted black, two black whiskers on each cheek. The costume design was quite similar to Zubalizu, using costumes and makeup, albeit not to the extent that Zubalizu did. The actor looked to be about 16 years old, albeit small, although that's common in France. Despite being clearly a ravenette, the boy had very pale skin with dark circles around his green eyes, clearly sick. He always wore the same outfit though, being a white hospital gown. It made sense, considering the show was centered around his sickness, an odd topic for a children's show. The show was, as expected, always located in a hospital room, where the boy was lying down. Despite being obviously a boy in makeup and a headband, the show addressed him consistently as a kid named Andre. In the first segment, Andre introduced himself and said he caught a tick-borne illness. Granted that's common in cats, as I would know myself, but he had to be in the hospital. For a kitten, that was dangerous, as he explained, but he was sure he'd get better. He also introduced himself as being lonely, and not really having many friends to begin with, and the hospital making him feel even worse. He asks the viewers to send him letters, because he feels like that'll make him feel better. It ended with him holding up a mailing address, showing where to send the letters. After that the show was usually just 10 minute segments of the cat boy opening letters in the hospital. He read through each one, reacting different depending on the contents of the note. The notes were usually positive, wishing for him to get better. He seemed to be receiving them from viewers, naming a new kid each time. He usually opened 10 letters a segment, thanking the viewers at the end for wanting him to get better. The funny thing I remember about this show was that every episode, his condition seemed to worsen. Whether it was his skin growing paler, his eyes sinking in, or his hair fur growing messier, it seemed as if he wasn't getting any better, especially as the letters became fewer over time. I assume this was due to the fact that the show was too obscure to receive enough letters, though this could also be due to time and budget cuts, as the show was visibly not very high budget. The show otherwise wasn't too out of the ordinary. It was just a segment of letter opening, like the opening parts of Blue's Clues, or the after live action shorts of the original dub of Sailor Moon. The show didn't have any opening from what I remember, but I do remember that episode ended with a soft music box playing, Soft Kitty Warm Kitty, the nursery rhyme, as the credits rolled. It was off, but I have to say I always found it cute. The last episode was what always confused me as a kid, and left the show on my mind. If it wasn't for that episode, I'd assume it was just a dream I had or maybe just buried it under the rest of the short-lived shows I'd seen. But the final episode left an impression on me I'm not sure that I'll forget. The show itself had an already fairly off feeling overall, but the last episode of the 10 shorts was arguably the most off of all of them. He had no more letters to open, and he just lay in bed, sighing. He closed his eyes, and the music box ending theme began to play. There was no dialogue in this episode, we just watched him sleeping peacefully in bed as the music played. It was relaxing, but also kind of lonely. You could see no one else in the room, and without the letters, the amount of isolation was more obvious. In the final minute of the episode, he opened his eyes and gave a small smile to the audience, resting his head on the pillow before waving softly. He sighed before closing his eyes once again, the music softly trailing away, leaving the episode silent. The hospital lights went out shortly afterwards, and rather than the music box theme playing at the end, the credits rolled in silence. It was discomforting, especially as a child, and a pretty melancholy way to end a show that up until then, had been low-key yet hopeful in tone. Did he not get better? Was he saying he'd be okay? What was going on? I've tried to find more information on this show online, but it's been rough. 
Granted, the modern American internet wouldn't know much about an obscure French show from the 2000s, but I just want to make sure I'm not the only one who remembers seeing it. How about all of you? Am I the only one who remembers this? It could just be my early 2000s kid memories, but I'm sure I saw it.